everybody, what's up? I'm DW, and this is The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. So this is a game that I actually bought a while back. I don't really know much about it. I really like the art style, and now that I've got the game open, I really like the music. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give it a try. I know it says continue, but I actually have never booted this game up. Um, so let's try new game. I'm pretty sure this was a Steam game originally. Okay, for some reason, Joy-Con's not really working, so that's kind of weird. Um, let's see if it'll let me change the controls at all. Um, so I'm not really sure. This is a tiny tale of love in a faraway land. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom surrounded by a deep, dark forest. The forest was a frightening place, filled with beasts and ruled by a powerful witch. Even during the day, the forest could be as dark as the winter night. Because of this, humans rarely ventured inside. As terrible as the forest was, a beautiful singing voice would always pierce the darkness when the moon shone. The voice belonged to a large wolf. She would proudly sing towards the moon, high atop a cliff every night. Aww, he's so cute! Aww. Look at how adorable he is! The wolf singing drew in an unforeseen admirer, a human prince from the kingdom surrounded by the forest. Nope. Every night, the prince would venture into the scary forest just to hear the beautiful song. Oh! One night, when the wolf finished singing, the prince applauded. The voice's identity was hidden because of the cliff, but this only piqued the prince's curiosity. The wolf glanced at the prince. Wolves are man-eaters, after all. What stupid prey, she thought. I should eat him now that I'm finished singing. Why are eyes weird? However, the prince had innocently applauded the wolf, who had never before been praised for her singing. She hesitated at first, but for some reason, she soon grew fond of it and didn't feel like eating him. For several more nights, the wolf sang her song, always looking forward to the prince's applause. But, the wolf thought, if he finds out that I'm a monster, he'll get scared, and he won't come listen to me sing anymore. So every night, after her song, the wolf would hear the prince's applause and retreat into the deep, dark forest. These nights continued, even as the seasons changed. On a night like any other, the wolf sang her song towards the moon. It was the same quiet evening for her. Aww. However, tonight was a special night for the prince. He entered the forest, filled with determination. He wanted to see the identity of the singing voice with his own two eyes. The prince climbed the cliff, his heart full. The prince climbed the cliff, his heart full. 
The wolf didn't notice anything unusual at first, but when she was done singing, she didn't hear the applause that came that always came afterward. She pondered and wondered and glanced down below. What? Why was the prince coming so close to her? Oh no! He'll hate me if he sees me. The wolf panicked. No one should see what I really look like. She extended a large paw to cover the prince's eyes. But instead, her claws accidentally tore at the prince's eyes. The wounded prince slipped from the cliff. The startled wolf thought, if a human falls from this height and hurriedly sees the prince's arm. At the same time, the terrified prince felt the same beastly presence on his arm as the one that had just scratched out his eyes, which increased his dread tenfold. The prince screamed and struggled, desperate to escape the wolf's clutches. The wolf, alarmed by his yell, accidentally let his arm slip from her grasp. The prince plummeted down the cliff, but then, thump, landed safely on some bushes. Though he was not harmed from the fall, the wolf's claws had injured his eyes. A nearby soldier from the kingdom rushed over to the prince. The soldier had heard his screams and had come to see the commotion. The prince must have been hurt by a, a monster above. The soldier quickly fired some arrows. The wolf cause, was concerned about the prince, but after being barraged by arrows, she was forced to escape into the forest. The wounded prince began to gradually lose consciousness. The terrible memory of claws in his eyes and the beast's grip on his arm became engraved in his mind. Aww. Several nights later, the prince, now blind, had brought disappointment and shame to the royal family, and his parents locked him away in the castle tower. The wolf was concerned about the prince, and overheard some soldiers in the castle say that he had been locked away. That's awful, she thought angrily, and she snuck into the tower to check on him. Ooh, okay. Alright, so I'm playing as the wolf. Uh, it doesn't look like I can do anything except for move. Like, I can't jump or attack or anything like that. Ah! Ah! Okay. Gracious. I really like the art style. It kind of is reminding me of Hollow Knight. Just a little bit. Can they hurt me? Oh. Okay, can I jump? I need to jump. Okay. Oh, I got a key. The door will open if you touch it when you have the key. Okay, so I guess I automatically pick up items as well. The wolf came across a cold room and saw the distressed, distressed prince sitting inside. The prince sent someone nearby and raised his face. A large cloth was wrapped around his eyes, as if to hide something shameful and dirty. Prince, the wolf said uncertainly. That voice, the singer in the forest, the prince said. He can recognize me by voice, the wolf thought. Um, yeah, that's right. The wolf responded. I was attacked by a monster in the forest, the prince said, but I'm glad that you're all right. The prince smiled a bit with relief. The wolf felt her chest ache when she looked at his ragged figure. Thank you for coming, but how did you know I was here? The wolf didn't know how to respond to that question. I... I am a princess from a nearby kingdom, the wolf lied, remembering that the prince couldn't see her. I said I wanted to visit the ill prince, and they let me in. Anyway, forget that. I can't believe that you're trapped in here. 
But I... I was attacked by a vicious monster, and my face is awful. My vision is gone. I can't wander outside. I'm forbidden from showing my face in public ever again, the prince said, his head hanging sadly. Let's ask the witch of the forest to heal your eyes. The prince looked dumbfounded upon hearing her idea. The witch? You mean the witch of the forest? Like the one from the storybook? Storybook? I'm not sure. But the witch can grant all wishes. She can fix you. The witch lives deep inside the forest. I could take you there. The wolf was excited at the prospect, but the princess had continued hanging. It'd be hard to take me deep inside the forest, and the monster that rem rendered me blind, I can still feel its claws on me. The prince couldn't continue, his shoulders trembling. The wolf dropped her gaze after hearing his words. She looked at her paws. All she saw were sharp claws that were made for hurting others. I want to take the prince from here, the wolf thought, but I can't hold his hand with these monstrous claws. Determined, she clasped her paws quietly and stepped closer to the prince. I'll take you to the forest to see the witch. The prince slowly raised his head to the wolf's voice. But just wait here a bit. I'll be back shortly. She then fled the castle tower and ran into the forest. Ooh, is this the witch? She ran all night through the forest. The sun was rising just as she arrived at the witch's house. The witch of the forest turned her gaze to the sudden visitor. Oh, what a rare customer. A man-eating wolf coming all the way here. What's this about? I wish to become human. There's someone I want you to see. The witch let out a hearty laugh. Sly wolves rarely said such things. A man-eating wolf becoming a human? How amusing. But why on earth? Never mind. No need to divulge the details. I believe I already know why. The wolf growled at the witch's mockery. The witch prodded the wolf's nose, the latter looking ready to bite at any time. But of course, I shall grant your wish. Hmm. But you do know what I need, yes? Strange glowing spheres appeared out of nowhere. The witch pulled one to her and sighed, admiring it. Beautiful. Each one differs from the others. All unique gems. The sphere's vivid glow pulsed in the witch's palm. The witch was a collector with a rather crude temperament. In return for granting wishes, she took the requester's most cherished possession and turned them into crystals. The most beautiful hearts are the ones willing to lose what's important to them in order to get what they want. So, what will your heart reveal to me? The witch peered into the wolf's eyes as if to discern a suitable payment. Hmm, yes. How about your singing voice as compensation? My... my singing voice? The wolf knew that the witch had a wicked streak, and she knew she had to sacrifice the most important thing to her. Still, her heart trembled, doubtful. Her beautiful singing voice that the prince praised, or the chance to hold his hand. Okay, I'll give my singing voice in exchange. The mouth of the witch's mask curled up, as if giving an evil grin. Excellent. Payment accepted. I didn't expect to get this from one so prideful, but I suppose life is full of surprises. Well, I'm in a good mood, so I'll give you a little something extra. The witch's eyes twinkled dubiously. I'll give you whatever form you desire. What do you want? The wolf remembered what she had told the prince. I want to look like a princess. The witch chuckled softly at the wolf's choice. My, my, what a lovely idea. But you're sure of that? You and your human friend will be devoured by monsters before you even get here. The wolf was unnerved and hung her head, ashamed that the witch had seen how futile her plan was. 
Didn't think about that, did you? Hmm. Even clever wolves can be dull sometimes. I'll modify the spell so you can return to wolf form at any time. A magical light appeared as she began the ritual. The magical light wrapped around the wolf's body. A part of the light gathered near the witch. I received your singing voice as the toll, the witch said with an eerie smile. The light around the wolf suddenly shone bright, and then faded. But I'm still a wolf. The wolf looked sad and disappointed. It's a complex spell, the witch said. Give your body one night to get used to it. Her task complete, the wolf departed the house. However, the witch stopped her in her tracks. Ah, uh, I almost forgot. Beware of the moonlight, yes? If you fall under it, you'll immediately turn back into a wolf. Okay, thank you. Soon, I'll be human and hold the prince's hand. I'm so excited. Full of hope, the wolf eagerly anticipated returning to the castle tower where the prince was waiting. I really love the art style. After leaving the witch's house, the wolf made the journey back to the castle tower. She recalled the witch's words about turning into a princess. It had already been one night. The prince was in sight. The wolf focused on transforming into the princess. Aw, look at how cute I am! The princess called out to the prince. Prince? Princess, you came back. Thank you, but... Don't worry. I worked hard to be able to let you out, the princess said brightly, trying to ease the prince. All right, she thought. I have to get him out of the cell. I can destroy the bars as a wolf, but the prince needs to get away from them first. Hmm, um, could you step back a little? Uh, oh, okay. Despite the prince's confusion at her instructions, he stepped back from the bars. Hmm, okay, so I can hold his hand. Aww! The princess timidly grasped the prince's tiny, warm hand. Though he was scared, he weakly grasped hers back. I gave up my singing voice to be human, she thought, feeling joyful, but I'm glad I did. They're so cute! Let's go to the witch of let's go to the witch of the forest. Make sure you stay close to me, okay? As you walk hand in hand, the prince will follow. Let's pull his hand to escort him. Okay, so do I have to hold down? Okay. Oh, look at that teddy bear! I have to hold down Y. They entered the deadly forest to travel to the witch's house and heal the prince. And so, their journey finally began. Okay. So like I was saying, I'm not sure if this is kind of a puzzle game, if there's puzzles I'm going to have to do, or what's going on. There's some mushrooms. I really like the background. It's It kind of gives a Studio Ghibli type of vibe. Go ahead. And also kind of a Vocaloid vibe as well. It reminds me of, uh, I think it's called Alice of Human Sacrifice. I wonder if there's like a limit to how far I can go away from him. What is that? Here, come here, come here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. No? What? There's, 
There's something. Okay, I can move the camera around. So the game auto saves, which is good, I guess. Am I supposed to be collecting the leaves? Okay, I guess so. Alright, so it doesn't look like I necessarily have to be close to him at all times, which I guess is good. It doesn't seem like anything's gonna attack him randomly. So I'm collecting leaves while I'm going. I don't see a health bar or anything, so I don't think I can actually get hurt. I think it might the game just might be based more off the story than anything else. Or maybe this is just like the tutorial. 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 Mm. Uh. Oh, Princess. Okay, so I don't scare him off getting close to him. I figured as the wolf, he might try to run off or something if I got too close. Ooh. I probably have to... Ooh, okay. Is there a way to make it go back down? Oh. Oh, okay. Um, how do I get him on there? That is, if it's a floor that's likely to collapse at any moment, if more than three people stand on it, it will collapse. The wolf's weight is the same as two people. Okay. Ah. Uh. No. Ah. Are you okay? So cute. Why can't he get on the... It'd be nice if I could just kind of like punt him. Like, hey. There we go. Like as the wolf, just kind of pick him up and just be like, here, go here. Nice. 
stay there. Up. Now, do I have to be... Okay, I have to be her. Not as her, though. Alright. Oh! Oh, what are you? Ah! What? What are you? Okay, so I'm guessing I should come out and, like, immediately... Oops, come here. But I'm vulnerable in princess form. I haven't hit any moonlight yet. Okay, let's go. This seems like a very, like, leisurely game, like something that's not overly complicated. Oh. They talk to each other during their journey. She mentioned that she enjoyed running around, and he con confided that he liked reading. Oh, and now he's blind and he can't read! I love books about flowers, said the prince. I can't leave the castle that often, so I thought it'd be nice to finally see flowers in the outside world. While they were talking, there was a rustling sound. A small monster appeared from the bushes and leapt towards the prince. The prince's head barely escaped being bitten by the monster. The princess quickly transformed into the wolf and brushed the monster away. Everything happened so fast, and for the prince, he could not see what was going on. He crouched down on the spot, shaking in fear. He couldn't help it. He'd recently had a scary experience in the forest. The wolf panicked. I've got to do something, but she had no idea what to do for the frightened prince. She desperately glanced around. A beautiful flower field caught her eye. She looked at it and remembered that the prince had said, Of course, I can give him flowers. But he can't see them. Aww. I would really like this in an actual book. Why can't I grab the- oh, okay. I guess I'm not supposed to grab his hand, I'm just supposed to go get the flowers? Aww. Look, it's okay! Here's a flower! Oh, they're so adorable! Prince, this is for you. The princess handed a flower to the prince. A flower? It smells so nice. Yeah, you said you loved books about flowers. The prince smiled happily at the princess's words. Thank you. I wonder what kind of flower it is. I can't see it, though. But I'm more excited to see it once my eyes are healed. She was relieved to see him happier. I want to thank you. I know. Do you read a lot of books? Want to hear a story I read one time? Aww. 
The princess didn't expect the prince to be so happy. She felt like she was already becoming closer to him. I'll pick more flowers when I see another flower field, the princess thought, smiling. Seeing the artwork in this game actually really makes me want to draw. And I haven't, like, I used to draw all the time. I haven't drawn in, a, like, uh, uh, uh. I stopped drawing a while ago, and I haven't drawn anything recently, but the art design, like... Ah! Leave me alone! Yeah, that'll teach you. Okay. go they're so adorable so I don't think I think I can die but I don't think the prince can die like I'm pretty sure he's impervious or invulnerable um is there a way for me to get up there even on the collapsing floor, it's okay if you ride the turtles back. Okay. I don't think I can jump that high. So basically, try to make it onto the turtle back. Or at least try to put him on the turtle's back. Ah! Well. Well. That was a bust. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't even look anything like a turtle. It's got antennas. Is there a way for me to get up there? Ooh. Is there a lever that I'm missing? needed to be and then I missed it. Oh, no! Dang it! No! I'm just clumsy. Oh, I gotta start all the way from back here? Get out of here. You leave my little prince alone. gonna do when he finds out that she's the werewolf. Cause she's gotta find out, right? Or he's gotta find out. That's gotta be a thing. Nice. Got it. Okay. Aw. He's always like... When I'm not holding his hand, he's like, oh, what's going on? And as soon as I hold his hand, he's just like, all happy, and I love it. He's so cute. Ooh, there's two of them. Is there flowers? I can't I can't grab his hand. It wouldn't let me. There we go, okay. I had to be right on him to grab his hand. Uh! 
I can't even see this guy. Ooh, what is that? Okay. I don't know how long this game is, but I'm really enjoying this. It's so cute. This footing might break with two people on it. Hold the prince's hand and ask him to walk. Ooh. What? What? We get stuck. Um, I guess I'm gonna try and go first and see what's going on. Ooh. This should work this time. Because I'm hoping that whatever the crap- oh! Okay. Oh, I can jump with him! That makes it a lot easier. I didn't know I could jump. While I was holding his hand. Ooh, I'm gonna have to ask you to walk. Okay. There you go. You did so good. I can't get over how freaking adorable they are. Is this one of the ones we can both walk across or only one of us can walk across? I think only one of us. Go get it. Er, oh wait. Whoops. Well, let me just kill myself. Okay. Third time is the charm. I got this. Okay, I have to walk across his knee. Yeah, you thought. You thought. Get out of here. fell down the hole. Well, at least I hope he just fell down the hole. Okay. Go over there. Alright. Ooh, okay. Let me put him down there first. Double check to see that there wasn't anything up there. Any leaves. No. 
There's some stuff up there, but I don't think I can get up there just yet. Support both of our weight. Am I supposed to go down there? Yes, okay. Mm, looks like we got kind of like elevator system. I'm ready for it this time. Something try to come at me. Okay. Was I supposed to do that? No. Oh, we missed the elevator. Oh, I can hold his hand and jump, can I? I don't know why that didn't occur to me at first. Ready? Ready? Let's go! Ooh, what's up there? Ooh! I did not kill that one. If I transform back, will I drop the flower? I can't transform back. Leave me alone! Oop. Have <laughs> face plant. There you go. For you. Aww. You're so cute. I love it. So I'm guessing I need to be the one to do that. Whoops, okay. Gee. I have to do that all over again? No, just that. Okay, so then, like... I can't get back up there without being the wolf. Huh. Oh, am I supposed to tell him to do it? Am I supposed to place him there? They walked for what seemed like an eternity and didn't notice how dark it had gotten. Both of them were exhausted from the dangers of the forest. Just as their bellies began to rumble, they found a place they could take a rest. Let's stop here for a bit, said the princess, as she started preparing dinner. 
Ta-da! The princess took out some meat, her favorite food. Go on, take a bite. Is it raw? She then offered the yeah, it is raw. She then offered the bloody meat to the prince. I'm sure the prince will like it too. The princess thought, smiling. Thank you. The prince put the meat in his mouth, then tilted his head in confusion. Um, this tastes odd. It's fresh rabbit meat. It's yummy, isn't it? The princess said proudly. But oh. Wait, this is raw meat? Ugh. The prince coughed and promptly spat it back out. The princess, who thought he would enjoy it, looked at him with a blank expression on her face. Sorry, we don't eat raw meat at the castle. The princess felt bad for the prince. Oh, really? So, how do you eat meat? Well, we first cook it over the fire. Yeah! What? Okay. 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 Can you let diesel in? Can you let diesel in? Oh, really? So how do you eat meat? Well, first we cook it over the fire. We get sick if it's eaten raw. The princess froze at the word fire. Oh, you use that? She was afraid of it and became tense just from thinking about it. I see. Er, I'll go find some fruit instead. And with that, the princess managed to avoid further discussion of fire with the prince. I feel like she's gonna have to face her fears someday, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave this first part here. I'm definitely gonna come back to this. I really enjoy the game. I like that it's not... It's not a hard game. It's not, um... Like, super complex, or it's not, like, super heavy on the battle elements. It's very leisurely, it's very cute. I like the music, I love the art style. Um, so I'm definitely gonna come back to this one. Um, but for now, if you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you're not already, please also go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I played, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye!